I told, I told him to communicate it and it's alright. Good morning and welcome to the Cathedral of St. Patrick and the graduation ceremony of the Cardinal Hayes High School class of 2023. As we begin our ceremony today, we ask that you be mindful in every way that we are in this house of God, this magnificent cathedral, and to comport ourselves accordingly. As we begin our commencement exercises, we ask you to please stand and welcome our graduates, the class of 2023, as they are led up the aisle by Ms. Dina Kwan, chairperson of the math department, and Ms. Alyssa Lynch, college advisor and senior counselor.
this time, we ask you to kindly welcome the 70th, 60th, 50th, and 25th anniversary alumni classes of Cardinal Hayes High School. The graduation classes of 1953, 1963, 1973, and 1998. We also welcome members of the class of 1978 celebrating their 45th anniversary. At this time, we ask that you welcome the esteemed faculty of Cardinal Hayes High School, who are being led by Mr. Dennis O'Donnell, 2023 Distinguished Faculty Award winner. At this time, we ask you to welcome the administration of Cardinal Hayes High School. Chief Administrator Officer, Mr. Winston Van Buchanan, and Vice President for Development, Ms. Nancy Rhodes. Assistant Principals, Mr. Craig Joseph and Mrs. Susan Frawley. Dean of Discipline, Mr. Rudy Turnbull and Director of School Safety, Mr. Douglas Cooper. At this time, please welcome the principal of Cardinal Hayes High School, Mr. William D. Lessa. At this time, please welcome the president of Cardinal Hayes High School, Dr. Michael Carey. Please welcome our school chaplain, Father Stephen Gonzalez, and presider of the graduation ceremony, his Most Reverend Excellency, Joseph Espiat, Auxiliary Bishop for the Archdiocese of New York. Kindly join our leader of song, Mrs. Heather Hall, and the graduates in our opening hymn, Blessed Assurance, which can be found in your graduation program. At the conclusion of our opening hymn, please remain standing for our national anthem and our opening prayer. Sure. 
Please be seated. And now, Mrs. Feliciano will introduce the salutatorian of the class of 2023. Good morning to everyone gathered here today on this very blessed and momentous occasion. I am privileged and honored 
to stand before you today to introduce a multi-talented young man who epitomizes the mission and beliefs of Cardinal Hayes High School, both academically and spiritually. Throughout his four years, he has achieved the accolades of Cardinal and Gold, or first honors, which overall average between 90 and 95% in all subject areas. I first encountered this young man in my Theology 10 honors class. He presented himself as a quiet, respectful young scholar, prepared to meet whatever challenges came before him. Both studious and diligent from the start, he immediately demonstrated his capabilities as a higher achiever. Consequently, he was inducted into the Cardinal Hayes National Honor Society chapter for demonstrating excellence in scholarship, character, leadership, and service. On another note, this young man's character is a testament to his upbringing. This gentleman personifies fellowship, kindness, compassion, and consideration for his fellow man. His spirituality is evident in his comportment and treatment of the Cardinal Hayes administration, faculty, staff, and student body. He always has the best interests of Cardinal Hayes at heart and is willing and ready to represent and support his school. Recently, on March 24th and 25th, this Hayesman traveled with four other Archdiocesan High School scholars to Miami, Florida. He went as a representative of New York City to participate in the national encounter of young people. He joined other students from Miami, Los Angeles, and Washington, D.C., collectively creating a mural commemorating Scholas's 10th anniversary celebration in a virtual connection with His Holiness, Pope Francis. Extracurricular school activities and volunteer services are not only noteworthy, but second nature to this young man. As a Cardinal singer and member of the concert and marching band, he has also participated in school-wide masses, seasonal concerts, as well as the St. Patrick's Day Parade. As a member of the student government, he has worked collaboratively with other student leaders to organize events for the student body. Recreationally, he is a member of the gaming club and art anime cartooning club. In the engineering club, he learned about bridge and vehicle structuring, as well as building and water filtration. Outside of the Cardinal Hayes community, he is an acolyte for St. Peter and Paul Parish Church and has participated in a renowned engineering program called Engineering Tomorrow. This dynamic young man will pursue a degree in mechanical engineering at Boston University in the fall. I would like to impart these final words to this young man. Cardinal Hayes is confident that you will continue to excel in your future and academic endeavors. To quote Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, commit to the Lord whatever you do, and your plans will succeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the salutatorian of the Cardinal Hayes graduating class of 2023, Mr. Oscar Ben Massey. Good morning, Father Salvo, Bishop Esbiot, Dr. Carey, Principal Lessa, the Honorable Classes of 1953, 1963, 1973, and 1998. 
its team administration, faculty, and staff, and my fellow Hayes brothers, soon to be the class of 2023. I, Oscar Massey, your Hayes salutatorian, officially welcome you to your Hayes graduation. We have done it. We have worked hard and accomplished four years of high school, but we couldn't have done it without the support and guidance of our parents, grandparents, staff, faculty, and friends. First, I would like to thank my parents for supporting me in my endeavors. My grandpa Richard for providing me with words of wisdom and my loyal friends for keeping me motivated. I am blessed to have so many people believe in my abilities. We can all think of at least one individual that always held us accountable and pushed us to be better. I encourage you for a moment to envision that person, whether they are physically present with us here today <laughs> or not. Let us articulate this to them. We may not always understand or recognize your methods, but we thank and appreciate you for your never-ending encouragement. For that, let's give our biggest supporters a round of applause. And to our supportive faculty, Ms. Williams, you pushed me to get out of my comfort zone. Brother Chuli, you encouraged me to pursue my dreams in STEM. And I will never forget those labs we had on Google Meet. From the study sessions in Mr. Morgan's class, to the debates with Mr. Sarcone about random topics, such as whether candy corn is a good candy. It's not. I'm talking to you, Michael. I will always cherish the memories I've made with you all. This includes all of the shenanigans executed within the walls of Hayes. I know you all will remember and appreciate your times here as well. My fellow Hayesmen, our journey at Hayes as students may be over, but our life journey has just begun. Amen. Whether the next steps be college, trade school, a musical career, the military, or an entrepreneurship, I encourage every single one of you to give your all in everything you do. You can do anything in Christ who gives you strength. So do not inhibit yourself from achieving your dreams. If you continue to work hard and remain disciplined, anything you desire to obtain will become a reality. The only thing that can stop you is yourself. Mm. So with that, I congratulate you, my Hayes brothers, and wish you the best for your futures. Up Hayes and all its loyal men. Thank you, Mrs. Feliciano, chairperson of the theology department for your wonderful introduction. And thank you, Oscar, for your kind introductory remarks. At this time, I would like to introduce Dr. Michael Carey, president of Cardinal Hayes High School. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. Jellen. Oscar, that was great. Oscar, people may not know, but in the last 10 days, Oscar was just on a Zoom call with our Holy Father, Pope Francis. So he's been, uh, he's been busy and doing well and representing Cardinal Hayes. So congratulations, Oscar, great job. Thank you. I wanna just note that Father Gonzalez, unfortunately, our chaplain is unable to be here today. Uh, He's an outstanding human being, and we just want to wish him well. He's been under the weather for a little bit, so I just want to acknowledge uh, that he's not able to be here today, but to acknowledge 
all the work that he does do for us and for our young men. So we hope we pray for a speedy recover for Father Gonzalez. I'm sure he'll be fine. So I just want to mention him. And we want to welcome some noteworthy guests. Um, the class is in 1963, 1973, and 1998. We welcome you in a very special way on this milestone anniversary of the day you also graduated from Cardinal Hayes High School in this very cathedral, an awesome place. Hughes is folly. I don't think so. It's an unbelievable, unbelievable atmosphere. So I'm very, very happy to have these classes back. Your turnout yesterday at the school was, uh, was phenomenal. And uh, it was really a spirited mass, actually, on the fourth floor. It was great. The singing, the camaraderie, the warmth. So it was a real pleasure to meet you, and I'm sure we're going to continue to get to know each other. Um, so thank you for being here. Um, I also want to publicly acknowledge our Board of Trustees and welcome them today. There's many of them here over in this area. A couple of our board members are actually in the class of 73. Um, I just want to acknowledge all the hard work, the time, the energy, and the resources they commit to keeping Cardinal Hayes High School going. There's been very difficult times over the last five, seven years. They really are the rocks. I just want to publicly acknowledge them and all they do for the school to keep the place running, keep everything going so that we can have occasions like this and continue to educate these great young men. I also want to welcome and congratulate, of course, the parents, the grandparents, the families, and the friends of the class of 2023. We want to thank you for entrusting your sons and grandsons and brothers and nephews to us. Personally, I think you've made a very wise, life-affirming decision to send your sons to Cardinal Hayes. And we thank you for your support, and we congratulate you, we congratulate you for your success. And with mentioning the families and the students, I have to acknowledge the faculty and the administration and the staff. It's an unbelievable job that they do. I'm in awe of it. I, I, ha I am a teacher myself, um, but I haven't been in the classroom in a little while. They do an incredible job, and I, I just have to publicly acknowledge all of the work, the hours, the dedication, and really just the genuine concern and love they have for these young men. So, and the, the proof is in the pudding every year. They rise to the top every year, even through all the tough times. So I got to acknowledge the faculty, staff, and administration of Cardinal Hayes. And lastly, before I make my introduction, the class of 2023, you know, I just have to congratulate you. I'm so proud of you. You guys have gone through very, very difficult times. We just went through a pandemic. We all know that. But aside from that, you know, you're facing challenges, you're taking them head on, you're working with your staff. What I say when people come into Hayes, as I get more comfortable in this role, is if you follow the template of Cardinal Hayes, you cannot, you cannot fail. And you're the proof of that. We expect great things from you. And I would say to you today, and I mentioned this to you last week when we spoke, when I got to speak to you for a few minutes in the auditorium at the school. Um, today, you are entering one of the elite alumni groups in this nation. I expect you to continue to represent the school, yourselves, and your family the way you've done for the past four years. If you do that, you're going to have great success. And you can see the men in front of us from the, from the classes of 63, 73, and 98. If you continue to do that, represent yourselves as Hazeman, and to whom much is given, much is expected. The expectations will be high for you. But I am absolutely 100% confident you're going to meet them with flying colors. And now, it is my distinct privilege, since Father Gonzalez is not here, it's my distinct privilege to introduce and welcome the first Latino bishop in the history of the Archdiocese of New York, and he's going to lead us in prayer and the spiritual reflection. Please welcome Bishop Espiat. Please stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, good and gracious God, our Good Shepherd, we ask you to illumine our hearts and our minds this day with your Holy Spirit. We ask for your almighty hand to be upon these graduates as they gather here today to celebrate this step forward into their soon approaching futures. 
Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. For Cardinal Hayes High School has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. We thank you for our teachers who have so richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst. And we thank you for our families who have cheered us on to the finish line and stood by our sides through the many bumps in the road. And on this day especially, Lord, we thank you for the friends that have, we have found among our classmates, for all the jokes that we will laugh about in years to come, for the hardships and tears we have endured together side by side, and for your love which has made, been made evident through the relationships that we will carry with us beyond these walls. Help us to be men who laid down our lives for each other just as you gave up your life for each of us. Let us love each other fearlessly and seek your will earnestly all the days of our lives. And we pray this in the name of your son Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. If I could ask you to please be seated. <clears throat> Now, technically, I'm supposed to put my Beretta hat back on to preach, but I hope that the Hayes men will allow <laughs> if I wear my bucket hat instead. You know? How does it look? It looks good? Hey, good. My sisters and my brothers in Christ, when I was praying of, about what I was to say today, one word came to mind, and the word is perseverance. Perseverance. Thank you, Dr. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Lessa. Thank you, faculty, staff, administration, for persevering through these tough years. They haven't been easy, but I tell you what, it's made you stronger, amen? As I was thinking and reflecting on this day, I don't know if you know this or not, but today, actually, we as church, we celebrate the lives of heroic men who laid down their lives for Jesus. Today, we celebrate the feast of St. Charles Lawanga and the Ugandan martyrs. These men defied the authority of their day. A king who went senile, who went crazy, who wasn't right in the head. And these men laid down their lives for Jesus. As I was praying, God gave me this scripture passage to share with you. It's Philippians 3, 13 and 14. And it says this, my brothers, and I share these sentiments with you. Brothers, I for my part do not consider myself to have taken possession. Just one thing, forgetting what lies behind but straining forward to what lies ahead. I continue my pursuit toward the goal, the prize of God's upward calling. The prize of what? God's upward calling in Jesus Christ. What is uh, the motto here in Hayes? Up Hayes. Up Hayes. We have an upward calling and we need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. If I can leave you with three simple things, guys, just three simple things. These are things that have helped me in my life. They've helped me in my journey, and I wanna share them with you, and it's this. Number one, be you. Be authentic. 
Don't be like anybody else. God made you, you. Amen? And you need to remember that. You see, last year, I was named to be bishop. And when the, the Pope called me through the papal nuncio, I was like, I don't think they know what they're doing. Because I'm like, sweet baby Jesus, have you seen me? Because I'm going to be me. You see, that's why I rock my Jordan 4s on my manier. You know what I'm talking about. Right? I'm me. And, and, and I was like, well, you know what? God called me this way. And you need to remember that you are unique, that you are precious, and God made only one of you. Thank God he only made one of me. Right? But be you. Amen? Second, second point. Second point is important. This one I've, I've tried to live by ever since I learned it in the seminary. And it's from a document called Gaudium et Spes. And literally it means rejoice and hope from the Second Vatican Council. And it's Gaudium et Spes 24. And it says this, it is only in truly giving of yourself that you find yourself. Let me repeat that again. It is only in truly giving of yourself that you find yourself. You see, it's when we give that we find out who we are and whose we are. And never forget that. Amen? And last but not least, it's the third and final one, and it's this. Never forget where you came from. Because if you get where you came from, you don't know where you're heading. As I started, I'm going to end. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Charles Lwanga and the Ugandan martyrs. And I love the fact that as they were being beheaded and as they were being burned for the name of Jesus, for his kingdom, this is what they said. You can burn our bodies, but you can never kill our souls. Hayes men, remember that. No matter what happens and no matter what you go through, you belong to God. And God has made you in his image and his likeness. And as long as you follow him and you keep your eyes fixed on him and you keep your head up, head up always, never head down because you are Hayes men. Up Hayes. Amen. Thank you, Most Reverend Joseph Espia. The, I would like also like to make an honorable mention to our one member of the class of 1953 who is present today. The following students, having satisfactorily completed their course of study according to the academic standards and requirements established by the New York State Board of Regents and by Cardinal Hayes High School, are hereby granted a diploma so that the names of each student may be heard, we would ask that you please hold your applause until all the names of the graduates have been read. Asdrubal Renieri Acosta. Jose Gabriel Aleman. Isaiah Amesquita, Brandon Kai Anderson, Deshaun Yaw Ansa, Luis Armando Arroyo Jr., Sandy Baez Almonte Jr. Jeremy Michael Baez Adames. Jordan Troy 
Thanks. Ryan Isaiah Beltran. Javier Enrique Benalcazar. Christopher Allen Berry. Joshua Amir Bay. Michael Emmanuel Bowden. Jean Carlos Brito. Jalen Gilbert Reese Bynum Smith. Miguel Antonio Canciel. Alexander Luis Capellan. Yariel Fernando Carmona. Kenny Montana Clark. O'Reilly Jr. Collado. Kevin Nicholas Colon. Brian Ethaniel Contreras Ortega. Jeremiah Joseph Corbett. Caleb Alberto Cortez. Omarley Jacob Daniel. Herman Ferdinand Daniels the third. Octavio Antonio De Leon. Juan Luis Diaz. Mamadou Serene Jiang. Jaden DeLone. Jacob Edwin Encarnacion. Zachary Matthew Emmanuel. Brian Josue Facundo Quinones. Dennis Jefferson Fajardo. Jaden Jamarquis Falconer. Marcus Fawcett. John Carlos Felix. Luisendi Fernandez. Tyleek Fields. Deonis Jr. Figueroa. John Franzosa III. Yeah. 
Jalen Francisco Fuentes. Ishmael Hayes Garraza III. Gabriel Jose Garcia. Yomar O'Neill Garcia. Elian Alberto Gil Pimentel. Jave Geraldi Gomez Zoria. Leander McDaniel Gonzalez. Jason Romero Gray Jr. Daniel Constantine Green Jr. Angel Gabriel Guerra. Jalen Antonio Gutierrez. George Ariel Guzman Soto. Matthew Bernard Harrigan Walker. Malik Brandon Harrigan Walker. Adam Christian Hayes. Dominique Michael Henley. Randy Heredia Ledesma. Moses Jr. Hernandez. Joshua Connor Hicks. Sean Michael Hollowell. Orlando Wolcott Hudson Jr. Anthony Willie Hurtado Melendez. Kenneth Hurtado. Juan Luis Inoa. Benson Jiang. Tayden Isaiah Giles. Kelvin Jimenez Medina. Jaden Jose Jimenez Perea. Shamar Malik Johnson. Noah Derry Joseph. D'Angelo Calabacus. Michael Alexander Kadua. Ramel Malik Lamb. Alfred Nye Odarty Lamptey. Nayel Tafari Lawrence. Alex Lopez. Skyler Jacob Lopez. Brandy Luperon. Ethan Landon Maduro. Maddox 
Miguel Marmo. Brandon Anthony Marte. Melvin Martinez Alvarado. Taifa Selassie I. Mason. Dylan Nicholas Means. Anthony James Amador Willing Jr. Brian Angel Morales. Louis David Morales. Maxwell Isaiah Morel. Christopher Jesus Morillo. Levi Merzinski Sano. Anderson De Jesus Nunez. Justin Ogando. John Okiri. Omiemi Israel Otusanya. Michael Anthony Owens Jr. Ryan Pena. Warner Jeremy Perez Guzman. Alfredo Jeremiah Perez. Jaden Harold Phillips. Randy Elijah Placencia. Andrix Carlos Polanco. Derek Polanco. Emery Ray Pope. Alberto Rafael Ramirez Gill. Aaron Troy Renault II. Bert Anthony Reynolds Jr. Dione De Jesus Reynoso Vasquez. Christopher Rivas. Evan Lucas Rivera. Derek Anthony Robinson. Christopher Juan Rodriguez. Edgar Rodriguez. John Philip Rodriguez. Jonathan Jai Rodriguez. Evan Francisco Rosa.
Ovis Rosario Cepeda. John Dylan Ruiz. Gaudi Gabriel Sanchez. Jalen Santana. Matthew Kai Santana. Justin Isaiah Santos. Cameron Xavier Sebastian. Brandon Isaiah Smallwood. Daniel Soto. James Soto. Gregory Joel Suarez. Jean Luis Tapia. Gabriel Alexander Tavares Vasquez. Achaeus B. Tavares. Tamani Deshaun Craig Taylor Jr. Christopher Sean Taylor. Anthony Jaden Then Jr. Jaquan Cortland Thompson. Nigel Antonio Thompson. Abubukar Siddiqui Triori. Tony Trejo. Alejandro Urena. Jaden Roland Urena. Douglas Rafael Valdez. Bryant Vargas. Seth. Noel Vargas. Irvin De Jesus Ventura. Marley Verdu. Eric Vicente. Devin Desmond Washington. Curtis Lee Wheeler, Jr. Kenny London White. Amari Jameer Williams. Jaden Trayvon Williams. Justin Azani Williams. Tyler Ashton Williams. 
Jason Evan Zambrano. At this time, I would like to introduce the senior members of the National Honors Society. These students were selected based on the four pillars of membership of the National Honor Society. Scholarship, service, leadership, and character. Nathaniel Imal Brentuo Afwakwa. Ishmael De Aki. Curris Yeriel Beroa. Jude Kwame Boteng. Darwin Estrella Vicente. Jordan Tyler Hoting. Teddy Ethan Holland. Lucas Kuhn Perez. Oscar Ben Massey. Tyler Jaden Daquan Moore Colston. Fernando Mosso. Michael Chimka Wogu. Rafael Antonio Polanco Jr. Jonathan Paul Ramirez. Steven Tyler Stanick. Luis Angel Tejada. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2023. We call your attention to the pages of the graduating program, which lists scholarships and grants garnered by our graduating students. The total amount approaches $5 million. For the first year of study, and can be extrapolated to reach over $20 million for the first four years of college. This reflects only the scholarships and grants reported to us by our seniors. Awards are presented to the following students who have attained outstanding achievement throughout their four years at Cardinal Hayes High School. The Father Sheehan Memorial Award for Religion is presented to Oscar Ben Massey. The Father Loman 
Memorial Award for English is presented to Michael Chimka Wogu. The award for history is presented to Teddy Ethan Holland. The award for mathematics is presented to Luis Armando Arroyo, Jr. The award for language is presented to Fernando Mosso. The award for science is presented to Darwin Estrella Vicente. The award for government is presented to Jordan Tyler Hoting. The Terrence Mulvey Award for Criminal Justice is presented to Karis Yeriel Veroa. The award for art is presented to Jude Kwame Boateng. The award for media is presented to Nigel Antonio Thompson. The award for music is presented to Fernando Mosso. The Ralph Coffey Award for Economics is presented to Jude Kwame Boateng. The award for graphic design is presented to Darwin Estrella Vicente. The award for athletics is presented to Teddy Ethan Holland. The Bernard Gallagher Memorial Award, bestowed upon the outstanding student athlete of the graduating class on the basis of athletic ability and academic excellence, is presented to Nathaniel Emal Brentuo Afwakwa. On behalf of the Cardinal Hayes Alumni Association, the Artie Guy Award bestowed upon the Hayes athlete who best exemplifies the spirit and tradition of Cardinal Hayes is awarded to Jaden Trayvon Williams. The Peter L. 
Waters Award donated, to the, uh, donated by the Alumni Society of Manhattan College bestowed upon a student who has distinguished himself in scholarship, school citizenship, and student leadership is presented to Lucas Kuhn Perez. The Monsignor Victor S. Pavis Award for Perseverance and Commitment in Athletics is presented to Asdrubal Renieri Ocosta, Yariel Fernando Carmona, Juan Luis Diaz, Tyleek Fields, Alfred Nye O'Darty Lamptey, Alfredo Jeremiah Perez, and John Dylan Ruiz. The New York City Controller's Award for Outstanding Achievement is presented to Oscar Ben Massey and Michael Chimka Wogu. An award is presented to the following senior who has a record of perfect attendance throughout their four years at Cardinal Hayes High School. Darwin Estrella Vicente. Oscar Ben Massey. And Michael Chimka Wogu. The President's Award for Community Service is presented to Karis Yariel Beroa, Teddy Ethan Holland, Lucas Kuhn Perez, Oscar Ben Massey, Tyler Jaden Daquan Moore Colston. Michael Chimka Wogu, Rafael Antonio Polanco Jr., Jonathan Paul Ramirez, Luis Angel Tejada, Nigel Antonio Thompson, and Jaden Trayvon Williams. The Principal's Award for Outstanding Service is presented to Joshua Amir Bay, Kevin Nicholas Colon, O'Marley Jacob Daniel, Darwin Estrella Vicente, Brian Josue Facundo Quinones, Elian Alberto Gil Pimentel. Alfred Nye O'Darty Lamptey. Skyler Jacob Lopez. Tyler Jaden Daquan Moore Colston. Anderson De Jesus. Nunez, Bryant Vargas, and Amari Jameer Williams. The 
The New York State Controller's Achievement Award is presented to Ishmael De Aki and Teddy Ethan Holland. The National Catholic Band Association Concert Band Award is presented to Kelvin Jimenez Medina. The Principal's Award for Academic Excellence is presented to Ishmael De Aki, Alexander Luis Capellan, O'Reilly Jr. Collado, Dominique Michael Henley, Juan Luis Inoa, Brandon Anthony Marte, Christopher Jesus Morillo, Omiyemi Israel Otusanya, Ryan Peña, Rafael Antonio Polanco Jr., Evan Lucas Rivera, John Philip Rodriguez, Steven Tyler Stanick, Jean Luis Tapia, Gabriel Alexander Tavares Vasquez, Christopher Sean Taylor, Luis Angel Tejada, and Jaden Roland Urena. The National Honor Society Certificate of Merit is awarded to Oscar Ben Massey. The Student Council Award is presented to Alfred Nye O'Darty Lamptey. The Student Advisory Committee Award for Outstanding Surface is awarded to Irvin De Jesus Ventura. The John Libert Scholarship is presented to Oscar Ben Massey. The New York State Attorney General's Award for Character, Courage, and Community Concern is presented to Nigel Antonio Thompson and Aaron Troy Renault II. The National Catholic Band Association Award is presented to Jaden Harold Phillips. The Cardinal Hayes High School William M. Ryan Award for Musical Excellence is presented to Fernando Mosso. The Lorraine Nanko Award for Outstanding Achievement in Choir is presented to Oscar Ben Massey. The Musicianship Award is presented to 
Evan Lucas Rivera. The John Cardinal O'Connor Memorial Award is presented to Levi Merzinski Sano and Edgar Rodriguez. The New York City Council Speakers Award for Achievement is presented to Fernando Mosso and Luis Angel Tejada. The New York State 2023 Series Scholarship for Academic Excellence is presented to Darwin Estrella Vicente, Oscar Ben Massey, Fernando Mosso, Michael Chimka Wogu, Evan Lucas Rivera, and Stephen Tyler Stanick. And now for the top 10 averages for the class of 2023. At 10th, with an average of 94.9772, Jonathan Paul Ramirez. At ninth, with an average of 94.9853, Evan Lucas Rivera. At eighth, with an average of 95.3377, Luis Angel Tejada. At seventh, with an average of 95.3757, Ishmael De Aki. At sixth, with an average of 95.4058, Alexander Luis Capellan. At fifth, with an average of 96.3231, Teddy Ethan Holland. At fourth, with an average of 97.4337, Fernando Mosso. At third, with an average of 98.2617, Michael Chimka Wogu. At second, with an average of 98.4531, Oscar Ben Massey. And at first, with an average of 98.4874, Darwin Estrella Vicente. The salutatorian of the class of 2023, Oscar Ben Massey. And last but not least, the valedictorian of the class of 2023, 
Darwin Estrella Vicente. At this time, here to introduce the 2023 valedictorian is our chairperson of the Modern Language Department, Mr. Francis De Castro. Bishop Espaillat, Dr. Carey, Principal Lessa, faculty, graduates, alumni, parents, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is my distinct honor to introduce this year's valedictorian. Darwin Estrella Vicente, a student in my Latin American Studies class, was born in the province of Santiago in the Dominican Republic and came to the United States <clears throat> and came to the United States as a child. He came to Cardinal Hayes from St. Elizabeth Middle School in Washington Heights. Darwin is a man of few words. He is a quiet he has a quiet strength and confidence that is evident in his work ethic and his will to excel. At Hayes, he has been a member of the National Honor Society, the Spanish National Honor Society, and the President's Men, among many other awards and accomplishments. For the purposes of this introduction, he ranked first in his class with a cumulative GPA of 98.8 4874. As many of you know, our young people face trying times. The immediacy of our culture tends to at best overlook and at worst diminish those that are reserved and soft spoken. With Darwin, this quiet demeanor reveals a humility and thoughtfulness that leads to great things because those with such character do not just develop into great leaders, but they also account for some of humanity's greatest triumphs. Darwin is set to continue on this path in the fall as he will attend the University of Notre Dame on a full academic scholarship. He has plans to pursue studies in computer science as he has expressed an interest in furthering the use of technology to revolutionize how society deals with the persistent problems of homelessness and access to affordable housing. There's some of that character that I was talking about. His accolades extend beyond the classroom as he proudly represents everything that Hayes has to offer. But also, he has genuinely, genuinely embraced and proudly represented his Dominican heritage. Darwin se enorgullece de poner su patria en alto. De que se sepa, de que se sepa que él es dominicano y está orgulloso de sus raíces. So, Darwin along with your parents and on behalf of those of us who are fortunate enough to teach you, we will carry you in our prayers as you become the man God wants you to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce 
the valedictorian of the class of 2023, Darwin Estrella Vicente. Education is not the filling of a pail, but the lighting of a fire. I believe these profound words of Irish poet William Butler Yeats encapsulates the essence of our graduation ceremony today. A single spark given to us by our education is enough to ignite a flame of individuality within our minds. It is with great honor and privilege that I stand before you all on this magnificent altar of St. Patrick's Cathedral on this momentous occasion. I feel both proud and humbled to be here with you all. Welcome and thank you. This journey has not been without its challenges we had to face the many uncertainties and fears that come with a sudden global crisis. In the midst of our freshman year, the COVID-19 pandemic had completely altered the course of our lives and education. Adapting to remote learning, technological difficulties, and having seen the world change around us, we had no choice but to navigate an unprecedented landscape. Let us not forget what we have learned and the people we have become. Let us carry these lessons with us as we move forward into the next chapter of our lives. We have faced and overcome challenges that we never thought possible, and we have come out stronger because of it. I would like to take a moment to recognize a few special individuals. First, a thank you to my parents. I wouldn't be here today without your constant love and support. And to everyone's parents, our teachers, staff, and administrators who have guided us throughout those challenging times. From the engaging teaching of Brother Truly to Ms. Lynch helping us apply to colleges, your unwavering dedication, patience, and support have meant more to us than you can imagine. And we're grateful for all that you have done for us. However, through it all, we have proven to be resilient and resourceful. We have found new ways to connect with each other and our teachers. Like, for example, staying behind longer to chat with friends, discovering a sense of community that extends beyond the walls of our school, appreciating the simple things in life, and finding joy in the moments we once took for granted. As we look back on the past four years, it is impossible not to feel a sense of nostalgia for the laughter, the tears, the triumphs, and the failures that we have experienced together. Let us not forget the countless extracurricular activities and clubs that have helped us develop our passions and our interests. Whether it was sports, music, art, chess, the gaming club, or any other pursuit, these experiences have helped us develop our character, our leadership skills, and our sense of teamwork. These years have shaped, molded, and transformed us into the young adults we are today. These years have been a time of growth, of learning, and of self-discovery, and I believe that we will carry the memories of our high school days with us in friendship for the rest of our lives. I would like to end with some prominent words from the late Steve Jobs. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the round pegs in the square holes, the ones who see things differently. They're not fond of rules, and they have no respect for the status quo. You can quote them, disagree with them, glorify or vilify them, but the only thing you can't do is ignore them because they change things. They push the human race forward, and while some may see them as the crazy ones, we see genius because the people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. So let us be the crazy ones. Let us be the ones who push the world forward and let us never forget the experiences, the friendships, and the memories 
that have shaped us into the individuals we are today. Up Hayes. On behalf of the faculty and administration, I would like to thank you, Darwin, for honoring us with that valedictorian speech to your classmates and your teachers. His words reveal both his own extraordinary character and the lasting significance of Cardinal Hayes High School that, has, that it has had for its students for over 80 years. At this time, we invite our 70th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins. Bless them individually, or? Bless them all the same. All right. Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless all these pins and all those who will wear them and use them, that they may continue to grow in faith, hope, and love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Congratulations, Deacon. We meet again. All right, here you go. This thing is, uh, you want to open this up yourself? or Should I pin it on him? Or? There you go. All right, here we go. So I'll, I'll put it on you, Deacon. Yes. Put it on this one right here or here? Right next to that. All right, there you go. This is yeah. my this is my classmate. I was at his funeral. Uh, assistant, May seventeenth. Oh uh, wow! Great guy. Congratulations, Deacon. Okay. Oh, hey. At this time. We invite the 60th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their anniversary pins. Yeah, yeah, he's good. He's a good man. At this time, we invite the 50th year anniversary alumni to the altar to receive their pins.
We would now like to acknowledge the 25th year anniversary alumni. Additionally, we would like to acknowledge the presence of members of the 45th, 40th, 30th, and 20th anniversary classes who are here with us today. I ask them to take a moment to please stand before us this morning. And now, it is with great pleasure that we welcome the principal of Cardinal Hayes, Mr. William D. Lessa, who will address the graduates at this time. Good morning. Good morning. I would like to thank His Excellency Joseph Espiat, Auxiliary Bishop of New York, for presiding at today's commencement ceremony. It is truly fitting that the first Bishop of the Bronx preside at the commencement for the first Archdiocesan High School in the Bronx. Bishop Espiat is a frequent and welcomed visitor to Cardinal Hayes High School. Next week, on the Feast of Corpus Christi, our students will welcome the Blessed Sacrament and the Bishop to Cardinal Hayes High School as the termination point of the Eucharistic procession through the Bronx. We are truly honored by this designation. I would like to thank our school president, Dr. Michael Carey, our dedicated administration, our incredible faculty, and our hardworking staff for making this graduation a memorable event for the class of 2023. I would also like to recognize our platinum anniversary class of 1953, our diamond anniversary class of 1963, our golden anniversary class of 1973, and our silver anniversary class of 1978, our parents, 1998, our parents, guardians, families, and friends. I want to thank our Cardinal Hayes Board of Trustees Chairperson, Mr. Eugene Harris, class of 1969, and the entire Board of Trustees, and the Cardinal and Gold Board Chairperson, Mr. John Duffy, 1967, for their support of this educational mission of this great school. Today, I take a moment to acknowledge the presence with us today of the director and the staff of the Bridge Up program. Dr. Shelby Samino is with us with her staff. This is their first commencement of students in our Bridge Up program.
which is an ancillary program that is run at Cardinal Hayes High School and does marvelous things for our young men. We have very good examples of Bridge Up students here with us today. I thank our Bridge Up people for all that they do. As principal, I have the great honor in offering these final words to the graduating class of 2023. I hope and pray that my words will resonate with them and that they will remember them many years from this day. When we at Cardinal Hayes speak of the class of 2023, the word resilience comes to mind. Resilience is defined by the American Psychological Association as successfully adapting to difficult and challenging life experiences, especially through mental, emotional, and behavioral flexibility, along with adjustment to external and internal demands. Now that's a mouthful, but it describes the journey of these men who entered Cardinal Hayes High School on a beautiful day in September of 2019, completely unaware of what would transpire over the next few years. On March 14, 2020, the world turned in a flash for these young men. None expected their first year at Hayes would turn upside down. The first pandemic in over 100 years fell upon, fell upon them out of the sky. Suddenly, they were sent home. And they so began the dubious experience of remote education. Athletic seasons were canceled. The promising friendships that freshmen make also ended. The buzz of clubs, bands, and after-school activities that make a school like Hayes so alive came to a screeching halt. Mm. Our students were forced at this important time in their life to become reclusive monks and virtual shut-ins. Mm. As the pandemic raged that summer, they returned for their sophomore year with two difficult choices to be a totally remote student or a hybrid student to attend school in person just three days a week. Their sophomore year was filled with uncertainty as students vacillated between remote and in-school learning. The school year was interrupted by several forced closures and several long recesses. As juniors, they returned to full-time learning in a school along with the new variants of COVID-19 and many COVID-19 related absences. Finally, in senior year, they returned to some level of normalcy, but there were lingering scars from lost learning and social emotional issues. Despite these hardships, a resilient cadre of Hazemen stand before you today, ready to begin their promising futures. How did these determined young men earn their Hayes Diploma in the face of so many disruptions? I suggest to you that there are four keys that begin to explain the resilience demonstrated by the class of 2023. The first key is self-awareness. Mm. The men of the class of 2023 demonstrated self-awareness through knowledge of their character, feelings, and their future and motivation. The second key is mindfulness, which was achieved by their recognition of the present and dealing with the reality of the pandemic. The third key is self-care, in which they mastered the ability to secure their own health in a time of medical crisis. The fourth and the most important key is developing positive relationships. Fortunately, this has been a tradition of Hayes men for decades. Their relationships with their administrators, teachers, coaches served them well during the COVID-19 crisis. Of course, their many friendships with their classmates were also a salient factor in their resilience and perseverance. It is the same for the class of 1973 who gathered with us today who in many cases established lifelong friendships with their classmates a half a century ago. 
The class of 2023 enters a world that has been greatly changed in the span of just 40 months. They have forged a resilience that will serve them well as they navigate a brave new world. They have been imbued with the faith-based education centered on the message of Jesus Christ, and they have been grounded by moral, academic, and physical training. They are indeed prepared for the new and challenging world that they will face. Just as the men of the class of 1973 faced the reality of a, war, a world torn by war in the Middle East, energy crises, and uncertainty, so too are the young men who graduate today facing challenges. We hope and pray that they will be the instruments of peace that the world so sorely needs. Amen. In conclusion, let us all be inspired by one of the best models for resilience, St. Paul. Without his efforts, the fledgling church might have never seen the remarkable growth that it saw in its early years. St. Paul endured shipwrecks, imprisonments, persecutions, and ultimately death to spread the message of Jesus. Hopefully our seniors will have that same resilience they demonstrated over the last four years. Please remember these words from St. Paul as you go forward in your life. Be men of courage, be strong. I ask God's blessings on the class of 2023 and their families and in all the graduates of this esteemed and cherished institution. Up Hayes and... Thank you, Mr. Lessa. And now we would ask His Excellency, the Most Reverend Joseph Espiat, to bring our ceremony to a conclusion with a prayer and blessing. Let us pray. Deacon, why don't you come up here as well? Since we have a clear, another clergyman who's celebrating his anniversary, you can invite him to give us the blessing as well. How many years is it again? 75? <laughs> deacon. We welcome the deacon, class of... 53. Congratulations, Deacon. You're amazing. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Come right, stand right here. You're going to give the blessing with me. Actually, you do the prayer. Go ahead. I'll, I'll give the blessing. You're in there. Okay. Gracious and loving God. We ask now for your almighty hand to be upon our graduates as they and their families celebrate this grand milestone. May they find comfort from this community's continued embrace and support as they journey through life. May they find strength in the excellence of their academic preparations. Bless their lives from this day on with goodness and success Enable them to stay true to their dreams, always for your glory, to discern what is right, good, and just, and to use their gifts wisely in the service to others. Empower them to walk into the future with faith, hope, and great love guided by your light and spirit so that they may use their talents always for God and country. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.
Up haze. I didn't hear you. Up haze. God bless you again, Deacon Radcliffe, class of 1953. As our faculty processes out of the cathedral, we would ask all in attendance to kindly join the leader of song and our graduates, as well as the members of the anniversary classes in our recessional hymn, Rise Up, O Men of Hayes. Sure.